Hi everyone, this is Adam from Recreation Services and today I'm going to be talking about the Spoto Press. The Spoto Press is a variation of a bench press named after arm wrestler and power lifter Eric Spoto who was previously also the world record holder in the bench press. The Spoto Press is designed to help you develop the lower and mid portion of your bench press uh, spe specifically strengthening you through your sticking point. So a stick point is a point of the lift where you are the weakest. And that can be from a few different reasons. A stick point might be because in that particular part of the lift, you have to rely on a certain muscle group that is maybe a little weaker for you. Or it's the part of the lift where you are at the biggest mechanical disadvantage. So the resistance has the largest mechanical advantage, or you're at a point where your muscle fibers are elongated, so you're creating fewer cross bridges which will then reduce your ability to generate force. Couple different reasons for sticking points, but uh, generally speaking, uh, it's usually when you're at the biggest mechanical disadvantage, uh, but can be because of, of muscle imbalances or muscle weakness as well. So the Spoto Press typically used to work on the bottom part of the bench press because that is typically where you are the weakest and is the, the most popular uh, sticking point for the bench press. The way the Spoto Press helps you work on these stick points is by having a brief pause at the bottom of the range of motion. So some keys when you're implementing this is you would set up normal, so just like you would for a normal bench press because the movement is more or less the same. However, a narrower grip does give you a little bit of uh, larger range of motion than a wide grip. If that's not how you would typically lift, you would just implement it with your normal grip. Once you're set up for your bench press, you would do a controlled lowering of the bar, a brief pause, so you're gonna stop the bar one to two inches above your chest, pause for a one to two count, and then a very forceful push up. So you're gonna push up with as much force as you can, trying to move it as quickly as you can. Obviously the weight will slow that down depending on uh, your load, but the idea is to try and generate as much force as possible on the top phase of the bench press. So some of the benefits of the Spoto Press, I alluded to the first one, is that it helps you work on your sticking point of the bench press. So because you are doing this pause at the sticking point and trying to generate force out of there, you're really trying to emphasize that part of the lift. Uh, so it'll help you kind of get stronger in that stick point uh, and hopefully make the rest of your lift a little stronger. It's also really good at teaching the lifter to maintain tension throughout the lift. So now, because it is such a controlled motion and a hold and then a forceful push, you're really needing to maintain tension uh, throughout the entire lift. And it's also good to help teach technique, especially to newer lifters. Uh, but even for advanced lifters, it's always good to kind of come back to basics once in a while. Uh, and it will really help kind of hone your technique, especially during that lower uh, part of the range of motion and transition between the, the lowering phase and the push phase. And because of this pause and the uh, extended length of the repetition, you do have increased time under tension, which will increase muscle breakdown and then hopefully muscle building. So it'll help increase your uh, hypertrophy from the bench press. That's how you would do the Spoto Press to kind of highlight your sticking point. But this strategy can be used and is often used in a lot of other exercises, usually called, called something like pause reps. You can use the Spoto Press theory in different parts of your range of motion even. So if you find for your bench press, maybe it's not the bottom of the range of motion, but maybe it's more at the top because of maybe a tricep weakness, you could do it at different parts of the range of motion. Uh, so you can kind of get stronger at different parts of your range of motion uh, if you have different weaknesses and uh, trouble with different parts of your bench press. You could also transfer this to other exercises. A while ago, I did a talk on improving your pull-ups and chin-ups. Pause reps are part of that as well, where you could do a pause during the, uh, usually where your arms are around 90 degrees, you could do a pause there because that's normally your stick point for a pull-up. So you could implement it on other parts, other exercises as well. Uh, and transfer it over to all sorts of strength exercises. So that's all we have today. So feel free to implement the Spoto Press or take that theory and apply it to other exercises uh, where you feel like you have a stick point issue and, uh, and hopefully you can bust through those plateaus. Good luck.